Hello guys! Good morning everyone! Or... Yeah, I, I, I said that the last time uh, I was live, but maybe for some of you that doesn't... Uh, isn't really fitting. Um, but yeah, I just uh, kind of did my morning routine and I'm live with another episode of Let's Play Pokemon Crystal in the Nuzlocke. Oh, let me move the mouse out of the window. Let me move the window here. All right, so um, let's hop right into it and see where we left off. Uh, I did a little bit of grinding. Uh, I did like just one level to each dude, pretty much. Sprouty gained two, I believe. What I didn't do last time, however, is getting an encounter here. And now it's daytime, so we'll try. I'm pretty sad about not getting a Sandshrew in that cave, but I think that only appears during the day, which sucks. But let's actually try to get an encounter here and catch something. Let's see what it is. And it is... an Ekans. No, thank you. I don't want an Ekans. Let's actually kill that thing. Yeah, we have Peck now. Great addition to Auli. Also, our Zubat um, Swift now has Bite, which is pretty great. Bite is awesome. And get Shrek, dude. Yeah, alright, sadly an Ekans doesn't really help us. Uh, we can still get an encounter in the in the cave over here, and we can get one in the forest. So let's go to the forest first and get an encounter, because why the hell not, right? Do we get a cocoon? Are you kidding me? Oh, well, that's awful. That's pretty awful. And not what I wanted, for sure, but we can one-shot it. What? It survives? Holy fuck. That was unexpected. However, um, yeah, get wrecked. Well, sadly, nothing useful. So that's that. Encounter shit done. That was like the first important thing. And now we can go into the slowpoke thingy. Slowpoke well. That's a big well there. Yeah, I'm gonna fuck him up, dude. Don't you worry. Uh, what do I need to use here, Howard? I mean, Owly is really key for the next gym, right? So let's train him a little bit. Battle is going on. Let's fucking go. Let's go ham here. Rattata, you don't stand a chance against Owly, my precious little Owly, oh shit, Tail Whip. Oh shit. I mean I love Quick Attack because it looks super cool in this gen, but... Heck has so much PP I can waste it. Tackle is kind of... not needed anymore. Um, did I use something else? Maybe Steve. Maybe if we evolve Steve before the gym starts, he can crush the gym as well. I mean, the Scyther is kind of a problem there. The Scyther is actually scary. And quick attacks. Get wrecked. 
fucking Rocket. Actually, Team Rocket was like the coolest organization in these games. I don't really like um, the other teams, like Team Galactic, and Team Aqua, Team Magma, and all that garbage. I, I don't know. I'm not too impressed with them. Team Rocket was like the coolest. They were just like basic criminals, right? Stealing Pokemon, using them, to get money and shit. The other teams were like too psychotic and had their weird world views and shit. <clears throat> Don't think that's something that's really fitting for Pokemon. Yes, Auli. Don't let yourself get fucked by a Zubat. It's not very effective. Don't hurt yourself. Shit. Well, I mean, basically, that's the only way he deals damage to me, right? Oh, a crit actually deals too. He's confused no more. Get fucked, Zubat. That's your last... Your last breath before I get you down. I'm super tired, guys. I was actually out drinking yesterday, which... Kinda sucks. But I feel better than expected, I have to say, like, not really huge hangover or something. And I'm really a hangover guy, like, holy shit, I'm getting hangovers so easily. Uh, well, I gotta switch out here. To something that actually... <coughs> hmm. I guess let's go with Steve. Oh, the Leer. Dude, Leer looks so aggressive in this game. Holy fuck. Laser eyeing me down the drain. Like, holy shit, how can this not deal damage? Look at this small little tiny poison sting, but then the Leer lasers me to the face. Yet the poison sting deals more damage. How is that even possible? That doesn't make any fucking sense. <coughs> hmm. Holy crap. Alright. Um We still have a potion. We can use that on Owly. Oh. Well, these berries all go into this fucking bag, which sucks. Oh, the apricorn too. Super potion. Yeah, well, whatever. Oh, I didn't get an encounter yet. Now let's try to use Owly for the next fight. The last fight has a level 14... Uh, um, coughing, which... Definitely is too strong for Auli to deal with. But this guy has three weak Pokemon, so. That's perfect for Auli. Come on, Auli. Go get him. Still not two shotting. He doesn't have. Oh, he has quick attack already. God damn it. Oh, way, Rotop. You suck. Good, level 13. Owly is getting there. Um, did I use Steve? Yeah, let's go. I might do some grinding, actually. Before I do the gym. Actually, there is still trainers in the gym, so I'm probably... I probably don't need to grind. Um, I want to evolve Steve before we deal with the gym leader. Also, maybe get Owly to like level 14. The Zubat is going to deal with... Well, I mean, our Zubat, uh, Swift is going to deal with... I hate how I, how I didn't call him Swifty. Um, Swift is going to deal with... Um, 
with the rival's ghastly. And he sends out the Zubat first, I believe. The Bayleaf is gonna be a little bit difficult, but probably if Owly levels enough, it's gonna crush it. No problem. Come on, Steve. Good job. You're kick ass, bro. Alright, get wrecked. Alright, now we have to deal with the fucking coughing, which is actually scary. Uh, and what we are gonna do here is... Give Steve a poison cure berry. Don't expect mercy. But my hair is still totally fucked. And when, whenever I shower and then stream, um, I don't, uh, I don't dry my hair because, like, I'm at home and it's warm and all. <clears> hmm. <throat> Did I rage? That's actually rage. I think rage is better than water gun in the long, long run. And this is why I need the poison cure berry. God, this has a super long animation. And then it misses. Maybe a year and then getting into the rage train would have been better. So as long as he only poisons me once, it's fine. Poisoning me twice would be a problem. And these moves have a high chance of poisoning, yet he doesn't manage. He didn't manage to poison me, and now I'm fucking him. Bam, get wrecked coughing. Get out of my way. Useless critical. 342 XP, holy shit. That is quite the boost. That is quite the boost, boys and girls. Yeah. yeah. Continue our bullshit underground. What? I couldn't care less. Way to go, Infi. Yeah, sure. I'm the boss. I still didn't get. Wait. Doesn't he give me something? No? I get a lure ball. Alright. Yeah, I have an apricorn. Yes. White apricorn. Alright. Get fucked. Yeah, I just wanted to get that apricorn out of my inventory. Uh, Alright, we need to go back. And get an encounter. Look at all these slowpokes sitting around now. Come on. I'm pretty sure there's encounters here. Alright. What do we get? We already have a Zubat. We don't need that one. I hope we get... Actually, do we want a Slowpoke? It can be strong, right? I mean, after it evolves, it's pretty nice. I don't know what kind of encounters can occur here if there are, if there are like... Um, Geodudes in here or something. That would kind of suck, but, well, we can't really do anything about it. And what do we have? Another Zubat. Is there are only Zubats here? I mean, it's the fucking Slowpoke well. Where's the Slowpoke? Oh, dude, you survived? Are you kidding me? What the fuck? I wanted an easy kill here. My stats are probably awful. <clears throat> no, alright, Steve. Oh, wait, why is Steve full HP? I actually get healed up there? Or did I go to the center? I thought I didn't go to the center. No, I didn't. What the hell? Come on. Give me something that is not a Zubat, please. Oh, for fuck's sake. This is bullshit. There has to be something other than Zubat in this fucking world, right? I mean, the Zubat's 
give us a bit of XP, which is nice. But... Yeah, I don't know. I really want something good. Come on. Come on, game. Give me a reasonable poke that is not a Zubat. There we go! A fucking slow poke. Do we catch that? I mean, it's a psychic type. Let's actually catch it. We can even evolve it to... Uh, to slow king. Maybe. I mean, it's a water type, which kind of sucks, but... I guess whatever. Let's fucking go. We could have also done some fishing here. Oh, what? You fucker. How dare you. Get in the ball, dude. Get in. Don't play games with me. This is not a fucking game. It's Pokemon Crystal, but it's not a fucking game. Alright. Better listen to me, or you'll regret, regret it. It's always so absent-minded that it won't react. Even if its flavorful tail is bitten. Oh yeah. yeah. That's why they all bite them. Let's call him dumbass. Dumbass. Not dump ass, but dumbass. Alright. He's a dumbass. Holy fuck. You dumbass. Alright, guys. Come here, Amy. Amy, I'm gonna F you up. Children are not... Well, actually, children kind of play with box and shit, right? So it's actually fine. Come on, Steve. That's a fucking spinner rack. You can fuck it up. Without a problem. You're gonna F it up. And then, then you're gonna level. Yeah, fuck spring shot. Is the one spinner rack enough to level up, actually? I don't know. No. Not even close. What the fuck? I won't even level up from the lady bar. <coughs> Hmm. Won't even level from the lady bar. What the heck? You please. Why are you doing this? I need to evolve. No, not supersonic. Fuck you. Don't try to do that again. Your tackle is fine. Tackle is totally fine. Still not enough. Feels bad, man. Feels really bad. Um, what about this guy? He only has like one poke, alright? Or not? I don't know. Uh, alright, Owly. Your time to shine, Owly. You'll prove it to me. Are you sure? Are you fucking sure? What do we have? A Caterpie. Well, a Caterpie is not a challenge whatsoever. It's gonna be an easy two-shot. And he fucked up the string shot, which is good. Get out of my way, dude. Get out of my fucking way. Oh, a Weedle. I'm gonna Weedle. Stop wheedling around. It's so perfect that I started uh, later on the stream with the set with the first episode, so that we always when I do two episodes in one take, I'll always have one where it's daytime and one where it's nighttime. Well, that doesn't matter. Bam! Look at this poison cure berry, you fucker. Get Shrek, and now I'm gonna get a fucking Croconaw. 
There we go. Steve. You're the boss. Steve is evolving. Look at him. Look at him evolving. That is some serious Darwin shit right here. Oh boy. Croconaw. Yes. And Croconaw is actually pretty strong now, so... That is good. What about... Wait. Yeah, girls don't know. There is like literally a girl just standing right beside... Two girls standing right beside you who like... Bug Pokemon. You're telling me girls don't like bug Pokemon. Alright, bro. What about dumbass? Should we, should we like train him? Should we try to train him? Come on, dumbass. Hey, I passed him. I wanna I wanna fight him. This was just for lols. For speedrun practice purposes. But speedrunning this game is actually quite hard to me. I mean, there is a lot of stuff that is really hard. Weedle String Shot. Well, I'm slow enough, so I can just use Curse, right? Fuck you, dude. Stop using poison sting, you fucked hard. Dumbass, you're gonna do it on your own. I have faith in you. Stop poison stinging, you fuck. Gosh. Dude. Use fucking string shot, please. God, he's gonna poison me. I knew it, I fucking knew it, you piece of bullshit. And sure I missed. Dude, what kind of rigged crap is this? Oh my god, unbelievable. Double crit and roll into poison, into miss. Sure, dude, sure. What a fun game. Fuck this, now I have to switch out. God damn it. You are such a dumb ass. Dumbass, you're a dumbass. For sure. Alright, fuck the Kakuna. I'm gonna crush you, Kakuna. I could really use the level up. Oh, fuck the Beedrill. Well, actually, that's gonna be kind of tough, but I should still do it. I mean, I'm gonna, like... Oh, shit. That might... Oh, my God. Yeah, sure, crit, right? hit three times. Oh my God. Can I two-shot that? Probably not. Dude, this is so fucked up. Oh, God damn it! Yeah, I have to switch out. There's no way I'm... I have to check stats here. How much... How much speed does he have? 21. Yeah, the egg doesn't have anything. Come on. This guy has 20. This guy has 33. I guess I have to switch to him. Even though he doesn't really need the experience. Come on, Steve. You have to finish him off. Green attack is such a bad move, and yet he fucking crushes me with it. Yeah, Steve is fast enough.
Wow, Auli didn't level up. What the fuck? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. All right, perfectly fine. We can't lose anything. If our Pokemon die to poison out of combat, that's like really bad. Save them slow pokes. Fucking Paris. Auli should really crush this. Sorry guys. The misclick, the fucking misclick. Alright, this could even one shot. Oh, I need to, you know, de- holy shit, I almost forgot. I need to buy shit. If I fight this dude now without potions and shit, I'm gonna get wrecked. Does he have super potions? Yes, he does. Let's take, like, four. And... Actually... Yeah, let's buy like two antidotes, just to be safe. Actually, let's buy more. And let's buy some repels as well. Do we need anything else? Charcoal. Would be good, but meh. I don't actually think we need Pokeballs anymore. In the next supermarket we can buy uh, super balls. Let's heal once more and then let's go. So he has... Oh, what does he have? He has a... He has a Kakuna. He has a Metapod. And he has... Actually, Metapod goes out first. Huh? Oh, the egg is already hatching. That's early. Let's see, what do we get? A Togepi. Do we want to use that, though? Let's call you. Egg lol. Do we want to use that? It's level 5 only. Gosh, our team is already full. I had such a problem getting Pokemon in Gen 3. <coughs> only has Growl and Charm. Doesn't this thing evolve through friendship? Is it even good? I don't know. Don't really know if it's good, but let's just keep it for now. Um, yeah, I'm off obviously not gonna use dumbass here. I'm gonna start off with Owly. And I'm actually gonna give him Poison Cure Berry. This is a small tree, dude. Let's 
Let's give Steve a regular berry because he might have to fight the Scyther. Actually, the Scyther only has quick attack to really damage my Owly. Um, I mean, eventually, um, eventually, uh, Fury Cutter is gonna do enough damage, but. At the start it won't. At the start it will be super garbage. Doing like one damage into two damage into four damage. But then it's gonna get out of hand or maybe it's gonna do more actually. Like maybe two damage into Actually the Scyther is quite strong. It might actually do some serious damage from the start. I might underestimate that. Well I'm not gonna level before the Scyther comes out. So that kind of sucks. The Scyther can definitely take a hit. Alright, no poisoning. Now you can poison, no, it doesn't matter. No use is harden, however. Alright, well that crit was kind of useless. Should I try to combat that? I'm gonna try it with Auli. Let's go. Let's see if we if he uses Fury Cutter. He does. Alright, oh, that sucks. Yeah, it's not very effective, but it's gonna probably kill me eventually. Yeah. I might actually lose this fight now. Incredible. Because, like, this is gonna deal more and more damage, and I can't really do anything about it. And I'm probably too slow. It can miss. Alright, Auli is down. Auli is our first sacrifice. Um, yeah, what now? Swift can survive, maybe, but... Let's actually go for Steve. Do we just lose the run here? We do, right? This is just fucking over. Yeah, this is just run over, guys. Unbelievable. We lo we lost, yeah. This run is just straight up over. This doesn't do enough. Now it uses quick attack. Yeah, but we lost. This run is super over. doesn't do anything. Now it uses a meter, wow. So we actually survived, but we lost our starter Pokemon, which is super painful. Um, and we basically lost a lot of other guys that were, uh, like, really crucial. Oh boy, well oh, that sucks. That sucks big time. We lost so many important guys now, we can't even... We can't even beat anyone now. Holy shit. We can't even beat the rival fight. We lost our three... Pretty much most important Pokemon. Can we even go on from here? I don't even know. Well, we have to improvise quite a bit now. And this is kind of what I was scared of. The early game in this game is super bullshit, oh my god. What are we gonna do now? We can't beat the fucking rival with this team. There is no fucking way. Let's go here first. First of all, I can take away the items. How are we gonna win this from here?
What am I gonna do if it fails? I didn't even think about that. Wait, change box. Can we not, like, rename a box? Name. Not enough. How do I? Let's go with grave. Oh, it's switching box. I have to save the game, alright. I just want to deposit shit though. Owly, you're dead. Steve, you're dead. Swift, you're also dead. No, you're not dead. Alright, now we have dumbass Sprout in Eglol. This team is awful. We're not gonna win shit with that. Oh my god. How are we gonna win anything now? Yeah. And as good as this run looked at the start, now it's super awful. I guess if I fail, I have to start from new, right? I'm gonna upload this as a failed run, and... Um... So what can I do now? I have to... I have to grind a little bit. Because other than that... How am I, how am I supposed to beat the rival if I don't grind here? It kinda sucks because the Pokémon are really low. So the rival has a bay leaf, which is scary, and I don't have an answer. Not at all. Oh, Spiro. Now I can get the Spiro from this dude who gives you a Spiro for free. Which is kinda nice, to be honest. Yeah, this kinda hurts. Crit hurts even more. Curse is a good ability, but... Yeah. Especially when you're slower anyways. It doesn't even matter. It doesn't even matter. Linkin Park references. Alright, come on, let's start the tackle. Yeah. But it failed, that's what I want to see. A new hot water. Alright, dumbass, level up. Good. Dumbass is not gonna help us. If he learns, like, confusion or something, then he's gonna crush the fight, but... If he's not gonna learn confusion, how is he gonna do anything? Look at this, he can't beat a Geodude. So this episode is gonna be super boring, guys, because I have to just farm these shit Pokémon. As I can't win the rival. I have to win the rival fight without losing anything. And not losing anything to the Bayleaf? I don't know how I'm supposed to do that. That is gonna be... ...near to impossible. It sucks that these Pokémon here are so low level. Grinding here is super hard. It's gonna be night time again. Pretty soon. I mean, how long am I supposed to grind here, right? Well, Tail Whip gets totally nullified. Oh boy. Do I have something interesting to talk about? Not sure. Yesterday I was uh, out drinking with my best buddy. He's also on Twitch. His name is Chaotic Student. He doesn't stream though, but he's in my chat from time to time. Actually, a lot. He's not very chatty, but. Uh, But, um, 
He's definitely watching a lot of times. Not today, however. Um, but yeah, I was... Uh, we had a nice dinner together. Um, at a local brewery. Uh, where the beer is really awesome. So we had a couple of beers. I had a nice blood sausage, I'm not sure if it's translated that way, but you probably know what I mean. Um, and... Yeah, then we went uh, to another pub, had a bunch of beers. And actually I didn't want to drink that much, but... It always ends like that for some reason. Every time I say, yeah, let's only... Like, I can't... I'm, I'm the type of guy... I, I can either not drink at all or drink a lot. I can't, like, drink two beers and then stop. That just doesn't work. If I decide to not drink at all, then that works. But as soon as I start drinking, it's fucking over. Which is pretty sad, but... Yeah, what can I... What can I say, right? I mean... What's with Egg Lol? Um, can we train him a bit? I guess he's better trained in here because uh, there is a lot of rock and ground types and Zubats, which is like the only thing that I cannot really beat. Can Egg Lol flee from this? Mm. Oh, it's funny how Egg Lol is in the in the picture entirely oh dude you can escape even if the opponent is faster it's actually possible i know shocking but it's actually possible don't let me encounter zoo rats please i want geodudes and onyxes and sandshrews i actually wish i ha could have caught a sandshrew it just sucks it sucks i want a sandshrew sand slash is such a great poke like, really, it's fucking good. It's fucking insane. What do we do with the fucking Togepi? Can we actually evolve that? Well, now we can give him all the happiness, right? So, that's pretty convenient. We had to give a lot of happiness to Swift because... Um, he has to evolve, right? Into Crobat. But well, that is out, that is out of the window now, as we fucked up the gym battle. This is such a disgusting gym battle for the start of the game. I mean, holy shit, it's super disgusting. How are you supposed to beat that easily without dying? If you just trains up the fucking ability, you're get you're getting fucked. There's no way you're winning that. Dude, this grind is gonna be painful. If only I had something to talk about now for a while. Actually... Well, it kinda sucks if I end the... Uh, like... I can't end the episode now, I have to do a two-hour episode. But... I mean, am I gonna just grind for two hours and then like... Gosh, why, why is my beard so itchy? I just came out of the shower, what the fuck? Um, wait, what was I about to say? Egg lol, leveling up. Um, if I just grind now and then I'm finally like ready and the episode is over, that's kind of bullshit, honestly. I don't know where the best place to grind is. Probably in the forest, but I can't reach it. I can't reach the fucking forest now. Level 7 Zubat, oh boy. Can I actually kill that? Can Sprouty actually do something against this? He probably can't, especially not with this, but he, he can at least run away first try. Oh, by the way, Zubat, uh, how this works when it comes to the rules? If I encounter Zubats now in an area where I didn't encounter anything before, um, it's still not gonna count, because I cannot catch any Pokémon of the evolutionary line of those that I already caught in this run. 
So even if they died and I cannot use them again, I won't be able to use them ever for the rest of the game. Not even if I catch a new one. It, that's not how it works. Like, I cannot catch a new one, basically. I can't catch a new Zubat. I can't catch a Golbat or Crobat. Wild Crobat doesn't exist, I believe. Um, in any game. Come on, give me like... Give me like something that I can actually fight. This is gonna be an intense grind, holy fuck. Well, there's, there is Suratada. Eklol needs an attack, it needs an offensive attack. So badly. I don't want these Rotadas, dude, I want like... Legitimate Pokemon. Like, Onyxes and shit. There is actually Onyx in this game. Also, Pokemon that I would have caught, if I could. I mean, Steelix is decent. Steelix is decent, guys. Um... Dude, stop f fucking with me! These stupid Zubats, God damn it! it's so annoying. But I just can't beat them with a fucking... With a fucking uh, Bellsprout, like, what the fuck? Bellsprout's moveset is too garbage. It cannot beat Zubats, or Crobats, or whatever. That's gonna be really tough in the future. I mean, my rival is gonna have one. I really need to catch something that is, like, really good. Like, an electric type. I wish I could catch a Magnemite, actually. Magnemite is great. Magnemite, the lord and savior. No, really, Magnemite is great. And I don't know if there is, like, a better... I believe Crystal doesn't have, uh doesn't have, um, what is that thing called? The sheep thing that evolves into Ampharos. Um, I don't know. It evolves into Fluffy and then into Ampharos, but I don't know the name of the first uh, evolutionary phase. Um, I'm gonna get there. I'm gonna get it. Don't worry, guys. I don't even know if I know the name. I have to know it, right? I mean, it's a sheep, but it's a baby sheep. What's a... what's... What's the word for baby sheep? Lamb. But... Yeah, I'm not sure. Uh, I can't think of this name, fuck. Holy crap. I'm stupid as fuck. Incredible. I'm so fucking dumb. God damn it, I can't even remember the fucking name. Yeah, I don't know. So that's an electric type. Yeah, we can get like Voltorb, but I don't want to get Voltorb. Fuck Voltorb. Seriously, guys. Voltorb is super trash. And there is another fucking Spiro, level 6. Come on, Eglol. Eglol, do some work. Soften him up. Sharply fell, alright, and now we can switch to dumbass. Come on, dumbass. The sound is already... sounds like a dumbass to me. Sounds like a fucking dumbass. Yeah, sure, critical, dude. Nice, not, gonna, not even gonna three-shot, right? Oh, with that, for sure he's not. I don't really want to use curse all the time. Oh god, stop missing, you... Prick. Gosh! This is the worst bullshit. Could I critical, maybe? Dude, stop growling. Use fucking pack. No! Oh my god. What an annoyance. Where's my wife, by the way? She went grocery shopping today because... Yes. 
work three days today and tomorrow. So tomorrow is gonna be our chill day finally. We can't even like we can barely go out and shit because like either like we we both have shit to do all week long and then on the weekend we're so fucked that we just cannot go out anymore. And then she also wants to phone her parents. And then basically yeah, that's that. Pretty rip. Pretty rip right now. I mean, I was at work twice this week and did my stream three times, which is pretty much okay-ish, I guess. I don't want to, like, stream only twice a week. That's That was the last year me. But this year me is super uh, incredibly hard working and will put everything into it. Level 16 Sprouty! Yes. Doesn't he like learn? No. He needs acid. If he has acid then he's more versatile which is really important. But I don't think acid comes really soon. It's like level 24 or something. I mean sleeping powder is not useful and yeah, I don't even know. What does this Sandshrew have? Let's actually... Oh, it has defense pearl. Well, that's annoying. And probably scratch as well. Come on, dumbass. We're gonna grind you up for 10 hours. Oh my god, this is gonna be super annoying. Does he have anything but defense girl? Dude! Stop! Well, a critical. If a critical does... God, dude, what the fuck? Are you fucking joking me? I'm gonna... No, I'm gonna fucking fine with this. This is incredible bullshit, man. He only... Yeah, now he starts using Scratch. After four defense curls. Fuck me. Rap Sandshrew. You know my XP gets distributed super badly. Okay, let's actually not fight these. Let's actually go here. Or in the, into the Slowpoke. Well, the Slowpokes are also beatable. No, this is way too hot. I'm stupid. I'm gonna burn myself. Oh god, I'm so thirsty. Actually, um, wait a second. I'm gonna get a... I know what I'm gonna do. Um, oh, it has metronome now. There we go, guys! An energy drink. Yes, that's exactly what I'm gonna do. Metronome is super scary. I can't really use that attack. Imagine it it gets me explosion or self-destruct. Ouch. If it gets me explosion or self-destruct, then I'm super fucked. I can't lose another mon here. That would be very bad. Dumbass needs confusion. Dumbass really needs confusion. I don't know when he learns something new. And I don't know if he learns confusion or water gun first. He definitely learns something good. And if he's like really huge and all and learns psychic and... Then it's fine. I'm totally fine with that. He just needs... Some training. What could I talk about, guys? I don't really have an idea what to talk about, actually. Can I even read my chat? Maybe there's shit in the chat and I just cannot read it. Because... Where's my Twitch chat? I can't find my fucking Twitch app. Every time when I look to my phone, I can't find it. There it is. Just leave this up, 
just in case. The chat won't work. Now I can see the chat for sure. Gosh, metronome is so bad. I wish it had like tackle instead. <laughs> God. Actually, let's charm this again. Why would you even use growl when you have charm? Why would you even do that? And now, dumbass! This is my strategy, my grinding strategy. <laughs> Gosh, I'm so sorry, guys! Like, this is so bad! I t oh, how did I get myself into this awful situation that will, like, be boring as fuck to watch? I, I don't know what to do. I can't really do anything. I mean, I can't just end the, I, I can't just end the episode randomly and say, yeah, fuck this. Alright, that's stupid. Um, I need to train these, even though it's boring as fuck. And maybe after this episode I can train some more off-stream. To make sure my guys are strong enough. I can maybe stream something else in the second half of the stream. Like Path of Exile. Trying to get my... Tectonic Slam uh, Juggernaut on the way, but I'm playing on Hardcore, so it's quite tough to get him anywhere. My first one died already, which kind of sucks. Alright, dumbass, come on. Dumbass, it's your turn. What's with my keyboard? It's totally... Oh my god. I need so many, so much new equipment, and also like a new laptop and shit, and I don't, just don't have the money. Kinda sucks. But, yeah, what can I do? I can get wrecked, that's what I can do. Oh man, it still deals a lot of damage. Like three damage per hit, well... Oh, good critical, good critical. Now you only need one more hit, and he's down. Aw, oh, dude, why do you miss, you piece of shit? Dude, what the fuck? Are you fucking kidding me? If I miss again, I have to switch out. Alright, good. Egg lol, level 8, good. Dumbass, level 10. Could you please, like, learn a good attack? No? Alright. I guess not. I guess that's fine. Let's go to the Pokemon Center again. Oh my god, this is so cool. I don't even know. Dude, you fucking grand... Dude, fucking... Old... I don't even know. Yeah, I'm too... I can't even insult old people that step in my way. What have I become without my three strongest Pokemon? What has happened to me? I'm a loser, I can't do shit anymore. I can't even beat Zubats with, uh, with fucking... with my Slowpoke because it's a Psychic type and it's gonna take sick damage from the Leech life. Alright, Geodude. Well, that's at least something I can just kill right away with my Sprouty because... Other than that, nothing really makes sense. I didn't even... it's funny how... how I have to improvise a lot now in this run. This is actually better than the last one. I mean, the last one was also quite interesting, because I used some Pokémon and I lost some Pokémon unexpectedly, but after all it was kind of straightforward. This one, however, is like... not... has barely started and it's already chaotic as fuck. Holy shit, I mean, seriously, this is insane. Wait, can I escape if he wraps? I hope I can. If not, I can only, like... No, probably not, right? I can switch out now because of the wrap, I believe. Which kind of sucks, but I can just... Yeah, I can't be recalled, fuck. So do I have... Like, it, as soon as I use metronome, I swear to god, I'm gonna fucking die to an explosion. It's just gonna happen. 
Like, holy fuck. I'm seeing this so hard. I like, it's so obviously gonna happen. Leer. Oh, I'm gonna charm three times and then all of his attack is fucked. Can I please get out of the wrap? Alright, come on. Oh no, don't use wrap again. Well, I could run away, but... Come on. Nightmare. No, oh, that doesn't do shit. If only he used, like, hypnosis or something. Oh, man. <laughs> Is he gonna self-destruct in this fight? Well, I can switch out now. Alright, let's fucking go. That's enough, Eggwall. You don't have to self-destruct. Dumbass, now it's your time to shine. <laughs> I thought Ekans had, like, Poison Sting at low level, but apparently it doesn't. Apparently it does not. And I'm wrapped again. Oh boy, this is the worst episode I've had, but... Like, for me personally, it's fun. It's really fun to do this, to improvise, to only have these three shitty pokes remaining and make something out of it, like, not not let the run die. Um, it's super fun, I have to say, but as a viewer, this is probably super shit. Watching me grind against these wild encounters. <laughs> Holy shit, the XP gain is also, like, non-existent. Yeah, this is pretty bad, but I don't know. Oh, I like every Geodude I encounter. Maybe I should go back to the cave. I don't know which area is better. It might be faster to just do this, right? Like, go to the cave and always, always switch to Sprouty and Vine Whip shit. It's probably the best thing to do and not like let... Uh, my slowpoke actually fight. I guess that is probably way faster. Union cake. Actually, it sounds cool. Rattata. Actually, for that, I'm gonna switch to dumbass. Come on, dumbass! Get him! Go get him! You're a dumbass, but you can do it. You can tackle him. You can also only tackle and tail whip. But your tackle is better than his. Oh my god, that actually, actually deals decent damage, but he probably misses now as well. No, he does not. What can I talk about, guys? What can I even talk about? I have to make a new video for my channel, because my oldest intro video is like super bullshit. I kind of wanted to do this for a while, and now it's like the perfect time to do it, because I'm really active now and all that shit, but... Um, yeah, I don't know, it's kind of... I don't know. I should do it, but I don't know what to say even. What should I say? I'm streaming? I wish I could also, like, play Artifact. Um, but I don't know. I'm actually regretting putting so much money into Artifact. It was like a really bad decision as the game is kind of dying and also it seems to be really much more RNG based than I thought in the, at first. Yeah, not a, not a good in investment to be honest. Yeah, it kind of feels bad to invest into something like this and and get fucked. I was thinking what game to play competitively. I mean, Gwen still exists and they improved some of the problems, but still, it's not a great game. They still ruined the good part of it, which sucks. And Artifact has a huge player base, but still, it's kind of dying. And it's gonna die even more if people figure out that it's so fucking RNG-based. 
I mean, it, it, it's definitely also skill-based, don't get me wrong, but on the highest level, it kind of feels a lot like Hearthstone, where, yeah, a lot of games you just get your card draw and then it's decided. Especially in the current meta, where you have, like, these ramp decks, where one guy gets, like, two ramp cards, skips a few turns with that, and then, like, uses, like, a turn turn five card that usually you couldn't use. Oh, I can't escape, even though I'm four levels ahead. Alright, bro. Don't get me wrong, but this is kind of garbage. Kind of garbage. Garbage. That's how Frenchmen would say. <coughs> no, they probably wouldn't say that. Isn't there an item here? Can I fight you or something? I, like... Oh, fuck. That was kind of weird. Alright, Sentru. Sentru. Oh boy, what can I talk about? If only I had a few people in chat who could give me some... Uh, some topics. Throw some, some topics at me. What am I gonna do this weekend? I don't even know, actually. Um, if you watch this on YouTube, it's probably not fried. Actually... Actually, why not? Yeah, I'm probably gonna upload this right away. Um, but... So it should be Friday. Um... And then, yeah, to today I'm gonna go out to my marksmanship... Uh, marksman... Festival buddies, and... There's like a huge meeting. Um, that is pretty important. It's like a one, uh, it's like a yearly meeting that we have to attend, even though a lot of people won't attend it. Which, but yeah, I think there will be a bunch of guys. I am, honestly don't really want to go today, but I kind of like meeting some of the dudes there, but I don't really... I'm not in the mood for the event today, and... Um... Whoops. And... To be honest, I'm also not in the mood of drinking today. Because I really, like, tomorrow I want to get up and just be, like... Just feel good and relax and... Play some Path of Exile and... Chill with my wife. And all that good jazz. But, yeah, I don't know. I can't really fight a Zubat. Still, not with that, that team. The Zubat is so fucking bullshit. Um, if my rival didn't have a Zubat, I could probably fight him right now. Oh, actually, that's the... I'm not sure if the Bayleaf has, like, a attack other than... It has Razor Leaf, which is scary, but other than that, what does it have to... in order to, like, deal with my Sprouty? Sprouty also doesn't really have anything, so... Eklol, level 10. Good. Eklol, you're getting there. Not sure what you what you're gonna learn though. I don't think I should train my Eklol that much. Maybe I should just leave the Eklol for now and train my train my um my other dude, my dumbass, and until it learns something useful, and then I can finally beat this dude with the Zubat. The problem with him is he has Bite. The Zubat has Bite, and Bite is scary. Actually, all of his offensive moves are scary. And, but if I have Confusion, I at least have something that is also scary for him. Which is not gonna be so easy, but... And I have to go heal again, because I'm running out of PP every time.
But I have to say I really enjoy uh, Gen 2. Gen 2 is so good. Oh my god. I think I even like it more than Gen 1. I love Gen 1, but Gen 2? Oh boy, I think Gen 2 might be my favorite Gen of all times. Of course my favorite Pokemon game is always gonna be Pokemon Reborn, because it's like so fucking insanely good. But it's not an official Pokemon game, so... Also I want to play Crystal Clear, the ROM hack. It's like open world and shit. It looks really interesting. Maybe I'm gonna give it a try after this uh, project. But actually maybe not because playing Crystal twice in a row. I mean if it's called Crystal Clear it's pro probably gonna have some similarities so maybe not too appealing to watch two Crystal runs in a row. I might do something not Pokemon related after um, after this project. Like I have a bunch of games queued up still that I wanted to share with you and that I wanted to play for a long time but I didn't because I didn't want to play them on my own. I wanted to play them on stream. Maybe something that doesn't interest you that much but yeah I guess I have to just as long as I'm active and people like me, I think they will be coming back, even if they wouldn't normally be interested in the game. Maybe they see some games that they actually like in the end. Who knows? But it's definitely... Um, I, I can't just play, play one thing. I have to, like, get some variety in for my own sake. Yesterday I was talking to my buddy how I feel more confident about my English skills. Um, and for those of you who are native speakers, you probably think, yeah, his English is okay-ish, but not too great. But I actually, like, the more I talk and the more I stream, even though I don't communicate with anyone that much, and also there's like a lot of people in my chat who are not non-native speakers and they like uh yeah make a lot of grammar mistakes which is fine i don't really like I, I i don't judge that as i'm doing a lot of them as well but um through streaming i actually feel more confident um because i could always like understand everything pretty much i mean i can follow like political debates without issues like i understand all the shit um, all the advanced vocabulary and shit, but um, using it yourself is a different thing. So that's where my weakness is probably because, um, yeah, I never really spoke a lot of English to anyone. Sometimes I had a bunch of dudes that I had to speak English with, but then they are also non-native speakers, so, yeah. Kind of problematic. But I feel more confident than ever. At least when it comes to English skills. I also feel more confident about streaming a lot, but... I mean, yeah, I mean... I can't really say confident, actually, but... It's a lot of fun, but <clears throat> if I put so much effort and time into it, it has to pay off at some point. Like, I can't just uh, say, sit here all the time. It's all nice and good, but at some point I'm gonna run out of money if I do this. Uh, and can't gain anything with it, which is somewhat sad. Because it's so much fun, really. I enjoy this so much, especially the days when I have an active chat. Um, yeah, fuck sleep powder. Poison powder is better. <clears throat> With that, I can maybe kill the bay leaf. I have something against the bay leaf now, which is a start, right? We can work from there. Hmm. 
we can work from there. Dumbass is gonna reach level 11. Is he gonna learn something finally? Probably not. He has to. I can't like wait all the time. Uh, I can't like uh, fight this without Dumbass being like decent, but he doesn't learn anything. Oh man. Yeah, this is bad. I could go back through Union Cave and fight shit there, but on that route. But there's like, yeah, there's Bell Sprouts, for example, and using Dumbass against Bell Sprouts is not a good idea. Oh my God, I wish this fucker didn't use Defensive Curl all the time. I mean, Dumbass can beat him, but. It's so annoying. It's so fucking annoying. I can't even. Dude, you scratch. Why are you doing this? What is this fucking AI? Why is he playing so defensively? And now he starts using scratch. Which doesn't do anything. But I am taking like three hours now to beat him. And he's not stopping. It might still be faster than- I mean, uh, I gained the XP slower, but I gained the XP faster on the dumbbells. It's, it should still be faster than getting two battles and switching out twice, right? Even though, obviously, I only get half the XP, basically, but... I get XP faster on dumbass, which is the key thing. Oh boy, yeah, I don't know what my plan is even going forward into this game. I can't really, I can't catch anything in the forest. I can catch it, something on the route after the forest, but um, I can get, uh, I can get a, I can get a sparrow for free, which is an event poke, basically. So. I can just get it. I can just easily get it. No fucking problem. Yes! Thank you, dude. You used Scratch as your first move. That is so nice. No! No, dude. I'm, I just complimented you. Stop! Don't use fucking Defensive Curl. Please, don't fucking do it. Yes, good, good. This is a good ratio. Three scratches, one defensive curl. That's okay. I'm gonna kill him with two more tackles. Now you can use defensive curl. <laughs> Yay, dumbass. Could he please learn something on level 12? I can't pull up a chart or something, which sucks. Because of the way this uh, stream window works and shit. Like, um, the problem is he can't really stream. I could use it as a game on OBS, but for some reason it doesn't show on the screen. I don't know why that is, but it doesn't work uh, if I open it as a game. If I use if I use uh, the window though, if I open the if I uh, put a put a window there, then he can find the window, right? Because it's in window mode, uh, the emulator. So I don't know why that doesn't work. If I just put it as a game, because I believe if I put it as a game, he would just maximize it all the time. Um. Yeah, I don't know why that doesn't work. If only I could use metronome. I mean, imagine I just get like super lucky. I use, I go into the rival fight, he uses like metronome into psychic on the fucking. Is there actually anything that's good against uh, poison types and flying types at the same time? Maybe a rock move. I don't know. But like, imagine that. Imagine he uses like psychic and against the Zubat. And then he uses like uh 
Oh. Is it actually called Fires? No, it's not called Firestorm. But then he uses like one of the like the strongest fire type move against Bailey. Uh, which would be super nice. Then we could like really fuck him. What could he use against the Bailey? Maybe even a like a move like uh, Sky Attack or something? Sky attack would be pretty good. I guess he can learn sky attack later as a as a Togetic. Is it called Togetic? Togetic and Togekiss. Togekiss doesn't exist in this gen, however. If it would, that would be super amazing. Sadly, it does not. Come on, dumbass! You have you have to level on twelve, and then you have to get a fucking move finally. Please, I can't take this any longer. I need fucking moves that are useful in the game, like Water Gun or... If he has Water Gun, he can at least fight all of these things on his own. And grind more until he's like high leveled enough. But Confusion would be better, definitely. Confusion would be the best thing. You need to learn Confusion, dude. You really need to do that. Confusion is key. No. Not defensive, girl. Not again. What am I gonna... I'm gonna be back on Monday, by the way. Um, gonna be my next stream. Maybe next week I can stream four times. I'm not 100% sure. Actually, did I stream four times at all? Yeah, I did, right? I did last week. Uh, this week I did three because I went to work. I'm basically always gonna stream or go to work. That's like the only two options, except if I have like an exam in university, right? But that's pretty much how I'm trying to do it. I mean, there might be some exceptions, but that those should really be exceptions and not... Uh, the regularity, pretty much. Come on, learn some- No, you have to learn an attack! Dude! Oh my god, how am I gonna beat the rival? For fuck's sake, I cannot beat him. I really cannot beat him, I can't poison powder his first two Pokemon. It's not possible. Oh, I'm faster than the Sentru now. Gonna use Chris once again. Now he only deals two damage. Please scratch again. Do it again, dude. No, <laughs> defense, girl. Why? Gosh. Yeah, that's a critical hit. All right. All oh, this time waste. Oh man, this torture is soon going to be over, guys, I assure you. And I'm probably not gonna do another episode today. Like, this is awful, I just... I'm gonna do my break, which is gonna be pretty quick. I, I'm not gonna, like, eat something. Maybe a small snack, like... Chocolate bar or something, but that's it. Um... Now I can drink my water. It's almost not hot enough anymore. I always miss that perfect spot where, where it has like the perfect temperature. Where it's like super hot, but not too hot to drink. That's like the perfect spot. Where you cannot drink a lot of it because it's too hot. You can only take like small sips. That's the perfect spot for the water to be in. Oh boy. Another defense girl. Oh man. Sanchru, you are annoying as fuck. Wait, was that my last tackle? Really? 
Shit. Oh, yeah, alright. Well, fuck. Well, fuck. Um... Well, he has rap, right? So if his PP is... No, he has two. Alright. Well, we have to go to the center. <laughs> oh, man. What can I do? Hey, don't re- I really wanna- I really wanna save this Nuzlocke. I mean... I really wanna save this run. I don't want to lose it. It's so- it's getting so interesting. The challenge is super real now. And that's what the point of this is, right? That's why you actually do this. To be challenging, to do stuff you've never done before, like use a bell sprout, a slow poke, and a togepi as the entire D of your team. Like, what the fuck? I, I never expected to end up in a situation like this when I started this stream today. This is a bit uh, concerning, but whatever, it's fun. Definitely fun. Oh, that's just fucking... This is just, it takes too long to tackle him all the time, I just waste so much XP. Just do 10 switch outs and kill the Rotatas, like... That's probably the most efficient way. Do I, do I not look like Red pretty much? I mean, kind of similar. Why are the Retardas only level 4 though? What the hell? What is going on here? Maybe he learned something on level 13, actually. Maybe he does. If I only could get past the fucking rival fight, that is like the worst thing about it. I cannot get past the rival fight. Like, if I could, then I could, like, train in the forest, I could train in the area after the forest, I could catch another Pokemon, I could go into the town and, like, get the Spiro, get some other shit, fight a lot of weak trainers, and that would be so nice. But as it is right now, I can't get past the rival. The rival is like the super gatekeeper of Doom right now. Is it called a pusher? No, a bouncer. It's a bouncer. I was... I couldn't remember the word. It's a bouncer, right? The guy who stands in, in, in front of a club and doesn't let people in and shit. That's a bouncer, alright. Yeah, I just remember. Fuck, last stream I know I, I couldn't remember it. Um, yeah. A bouncer. So he's the bouncer, basically, and I'm the fucking guy who can't go into the club because he's, like, too drunk. Pulls out his fucking bell sprout and his and his uh, his slowpoke and bouncer is like, what the fuck, dude? You're drunk as fuck. You're not getting through. And then I'm the guy who says, dude, fuck you. I'm getting through. And then I get punched in the face. And that's the point where I like where my bell sprout and my my um. My slowpoke get punched in the face, and then I get punched in the face. And then he even takes my money. Oh, that would be more like... I get into the club uh, and, and pay the entry fee already or something, and then I get, like, kicked out because I'm too drunk. And I'm, like, super aggressive with my Pokémon. Imagine Pokemon would exist, like, imagine that! Like, people would just, like, have random battles on the street and... Like... What the fuck? That, that would be super weird, like, just imagine that. Just imagine you're, like, out drinking and then some fucker wants to beat you up who's drunk. 
somewhere at the train station or in the in the dark and then you like pull out your Pokemon and whoever has the stronger Pokemon has a super huge advantage. And Pokemon are so lethal, it's actually incredible. I mean, what the fuck? You can die to literally any Pokemon, like holy fuck. The Bellsprout? Dude, don't mess with that guy. Use this Razor Leaf or, uh, and cuts your veins to shreds, cuts off your arms and all that shit. Or just imagine like, he uses wine zip to suffocate you and I don't know, like that's super scary. If Pokemon would exist, like I there is so th there is like literally no violence in the Pokemon series, which doesn't make sense. Because it's so easy to use violence. If Pokemon would exist in the real world, holy shit, there would be a lot of violence. And, like, they would have to have a police that trains their Pokémon super hard. Because if someone who is, like, the Pokémon champion just decides to go on a rampage, they can barely beat him, right? That would be super scary. Imagine that. Like, that's such an in interesting thing. Wow. How would society look like if Pokémon were real? Also, would people eat Pokémon? Like. Sure they would, right? They would kill Pokemon to eat them. Just like they do with animals. That's like... Sure they would do that. I mean, they would even do that if, if it was like forbidden. Maybe it's forbidden in some countries then. And where do you get which Pokemon? That's also interesting. Right? Like, I live in a big city. In a decently big city. Um, I wouldn't probably encounter a lot of nice Pokemon that I would like to catch, right? There would be like Rotatas here and Pidgeys everywhere. Especially Pidgeys. Um, yeah, the Rotatas maybe at night. That actually makes kind of sense in this game. Maybe if I go to a local park, there is like a Bellsprout or a... or a... Oddish or something. But what else? Um, Oh my god, that is such an interesting experiment. Uh, how does it, how does it, like we call it kind of mind experiment in German, Th these types of things where you picture a different world that isn't real and then you think of all the, all the probabilities of how it would be and how people would fare in that world. Which you often do when you discuss, like, morals and shit. Like, would things be morally right in a world where this and this would exist or wouldn't exist? That we have in the real world? But this would be super interesting. Like, I, I think there would be a shit ton of Pokemon-related crime in a world where Pokemon would exist. Like, oh my god. And like, I mean, everyone would train... Po I, I don't know if everyone would train Pokemon. A lot of people wouldn't have time. Uh, would a lot of people quit their jobs for this? Maybe the generation that I am in would. Um, but the elder people who didn't really... Like, who, like the 40-year-olds or so probably wouldn't give a fuck about it. I don't know. Oh, it still doesn't learn anything. <laughs> oh, God. This is incredible! Dude, you have to learn a fucking attack already! How is that possible? That it doesn't learn shit? It's level 14 now. Oh man. No, but seriously. Like, yeah, what, what would happen? I don't know. Like, what could I catch here? Maybe like Magnum Mites in like certain areas in the city? Um, like Voltorbs and shit. I would definitely like catch a Magnemite, I mean why not? Having a Magneton would be pretty nice, I have to say. Magneton is strong. Also, Magnezone is also strong. And I have to assume that it exists, right? We have to assume Magnezone exists. Oh shit, it's so stupid that I, like... Oh, this is Azalea Town already, so I didn't catch a Pokemon here. So, yeah, I have a plan. 
There's a lot of shakable trees here. So I can go back. When I go through the forest, I can get headbutt. Maybe Togepi can actually learn it, so it has a legitimate move. Um, and then I can headbutt the trees. All of my Pokemon need to learn an attack. Welcome back, Ray Gamers. Or Ray. You told me to just call you Ray. Um, uh, I, I'm sorry I have to tell you this episode is like really boring because I lost a lot of my Pokemon to the gym battle. Um, so now that because of the Nuzlocke I can't use them anymore and my team is utter garbage. It's so bad. Um, and I have to kind of recycle my team. I, I'm left with my Bellsprout, um, a Togepi I got from the Egg, and the Slowpoke. That's my team right now. I lost my Zubat, I lost my Hoot Hoot, and I lost my, uh, my starter Pokemon, the Croconaw, because uh, his Scyther didn't stop using Fury Cutter, and he raped my entire team with it, pretty much. I was pretty lucky that my... Zubat barely survived the Fury Cutter and then he used Quick Attack to end the chain. It was just super unlucky. Fury Cutter could have missed, it could have also like... He could have switched to a different attack, but he did not. He just kept the train going, so I... pretty fucked. And now I'm... And now I'm... My team... Oh shit, that was a misclick. And now my team cannot possibly beat uh, the rival. It's just super bullshit against the rival. I can basically beat his... Uh, I can beat his Bailey, but that's pretty much all I can do. I can't beat the Zubat and the Ghastly, because I'm super weak against both. I only have, like, grass moves right now. I have Vine Whip, which is good, but it's not good against the Zubat. It's not good against the... Um, it's not good against the Ghastly, because Ghastly is also a poison type. Um, and it's also pretty bad. It's bad against the Bayleaf, but the Bayleaf can't really hurt me, right? So I could use Wrap and Poison Powder. Ah, uh, you mean the slow poke? Um, it has only curse, tackle, and growl. It can't do shit, and it can't really beat a Zubat, right? Because Zubat uh, has bite and leech life, and slow poke is a psychic type, so it gets destroyed. So I need him to learn either learn confusion to be like in a position where it can beat the Zubat and the Ghastly. The Ghastly has Lick, which is also effective. I can give my buddy a Paraly Paralysis Cure Berry. But I think I'll just uh, play this episode to the end, which is like in 20 minutes, uh, and grind, and then I'll not do another episode for today. I'm gonna make I'm gonna do a 10 minute break and then I'm gonna play uh, Path of Exile on stream. Or maybe I could start a different project that I was... I didn't prepare anything though. So yeah, it, I, I got really caught off guard by what happened today. Like losing my strongest... my three strongest Pokemon really did hurt. I didn't expect that to happen. I didn't expect that to happen, sadly. But what can I do, right? I mean, I can't really do anything. For the, I already said a bunch of times now, for the viewers this is boring to watch, but for me it's super interesting to like improvise from this point on with a bad team see what we can get done, if we can save the run, even though our team sucks. Zubat is like the hard counter to my entire team right now. 
Oh no, no. Let's see how much damage he does. Oh, it's actually okay, but he heals as well. That's... Come on. Dude, please. I'm not sure if I should uh, get a slow bro or a slow king later. Um, but I'm probably gonna, like, watch... Uh, I I'm gonna look it up. I'm gonna check it on the internet, which one is, like, better. And how hard it is to actually get a slow king in this gem. Might be kind of easy. We're gonna get a level 18 Bellsprout now. When does Bellsprout actually evolve? Like level 24 or 22 or something? We probably won't be able to make it evolve before the start, uh, before the rival fight. Which is definitely bad. It's definitely bad. If only I could fight some stronger pokes here. That's really frustrating. You have to like fight these super weak pokes. I mean, I could encounter a level level 15 Geo dude, and it would be fine. I would still one shot it with uh, with Vine Whip and get a bunch more XP than I do this way. Rowdy would be ready for the job now. It has... It has the moves it needs to take down Bayleaf. But... Usually the Bayleaf is the biggest... Uh, hurdle in that battle, but today, with this team, the other two Pokémon are more difficult. Well, actually, the, the Ghastly isn't too big of a deal. It only is really strong defensively. It has Lick. Well, the problem is I don't have attacks that hurt it. Like, I, I have Tackle, I have... I have a fucking Togepi that doesn't, doesn't have a move that damages anything. Uh, what I could do is maybe give someone the TM for Mudslap. Can I actually do that? Let's see. Mudslaps. Oh, we have Swift even. Swift? Yeah, well, Swift doesn't do anything against... So Dumbass and Eklol can actually learn Mudslap. I should probably rather give it to, to Dumbass, right? Or actually, do I give it to Eklol? I don't know. What should I do, guys? Um... I mean, they're both bad, but Dumbass can't really take the licks. And Eglol is immune to them. Let's actually give this to Eglol. So now we have a... F now we have a safe kill against, um... Against the Ghastly. There are no abilities in this game, so it doesn't have, like, uh, Levitate. Um... So we have a safe kill against the Ghastly now. Because Mudslap... Well, actually, <laughs> Mudslap only has 10 PP and that might not be enough. Even though it's super effective. At level 20. But what does it learn before that? Does it even learn anything before that? Does it learn any offensive attack like Water Gun or... I don't know. Something like that? I mean, level 20 is very late. I'm not gonna grind to level 20 here, right? I might have to. Water Gun at 15, alright. Well, that's realistic. Water gun is important. I need some move that can hit the Ghastly and that can also deal damage to the Zubat. The Zubat has Bite, however. Oh my god, how am I beating the Zubat? Could you please look up if Togepi learns anything early? My Togepi now just learned Metronome on 7. And Metronome is like... Not really useful because I'm really scared to use it and trigger an explosion or self-destruct, which would obviously kill my Pokémon forever. Um, or like, imagine he uses some other move that just fucks him. You know, there are probably a bunch of moves uh, that like cost me a lot of. 
defensive capabilities or damage me or I don't know. I, I mean not something like uh, double edge or so. Um, but if I had water gun I could grind more easily here. It would be super easy to grind. Super duper easy. I wish I knew what Togepi would what Togepi learns. I also I'm not sure when Togepi evolves, it, if it's really a matter of happiness. Oh shit. Does Toget Tick learn anything? I mean Holy fuck. Togepi is so bad, oh my god. I mean... I hope it evolves through... I, I don't know when it evolves, if it evolves through happiness or through leveling up. But I think to rem... I, I feel like it evolves through happiness. What is Togetic for then? I mean, it, <laughs> what the fuck? Like... Yeah, it evolves through happiness, alright. Like, does it still learn... If it still learns double edge, that's fine. But I would need, like, a lot of TMs for it. Like, I don't know. I don't even know. There is no T... I could give it fly, for example. So that would be a damaging move. Um, I don't know. Learn sweet kiss. Well... Well, Sweet Kiss can do something, like it's not... <laughs> oh my god. I'm in such a bad situation here, it's incredible. Oh my god. And I probably just wasted Mud Slap. Because Togepi seems to be so bad that I can't even use it for the run. Oh my god. It's very awful, I'm in such a bad situation now. And even though it's super fun to improvise, but it, it's still like... I have to like... Oh my god, this weekend I have to grind so hard to like get past the rival fight. This is unbelievable. I mean, I'm getting... I'm getting water gun soon. That's at least something. I'm getting water gun. Wait, is my... Am I level 13 or 14? I don't, I don't... 14! I need to be 15 for water gun. If I had confusion, obviously that would, like, seal the deal. Easily. Easily. But getting level 20... Grinding level 6 Pokemon... I'm still not high enough. I'm, level f I'm getting level 14 now. Oh boy, that's oh, so bad. I don't even know. I don't even know, I'm running out of topics to talk about to, like, make this stream or episode less boring. Level 14, yeah. Yeah, it only knows Lick, and I'm safe with, um, I'm safe with my Togepi, obviously, right? Togepi has Mud Slap now, and that is super effective, and Lick cannot damage Togepi because it's a normal type. So... Togepi cannot lose against Ghastly. There is no way. But... Um... Did I not just fight that? But the Zubat is the problem. I cannot beat the Zubat. I don't know how to beat the Zubat. That is like the biggest issue in this fight. If the Zubat wasn't there, uh, it wouldn't be a problem. The Zubat is, however, the big problem, because I cannot use Poison Powder on, on that, which obviously sucks, because killing it through Wrap with, uh, with my, um, with my Sprouty is gonna be painful as fuck. It's gonna take ages and shit ton of super potions and whatnot. Oh, it knows Curse. Yeah, well, that's only gonna kill him faster, right? And I can just switch out. Um, curse is actually helpful. 
Um, Chris cannot miss, however, right? So, yeah, but whatever. I, I'm, I'm only scared of the the Zubat. That is like the one thing that I cannot beat. The Zubat is too strong. It's like level 12 or something. It has bite already. You think so? I don't think it's good because it doesn't have any damaging moves against it. It only has rap. And rap is super awful. Rap is super awful. I'm definitely gonna uh, gonna get to 15 and get um, water gun because in the worst case, like I can switch in and um, yeah, I kind of try to improvise, but I'm already kind of fucked. Wait, can can Ballsprout learn Swift? It probably can't, right? It probably can't. No, it can't. Eklol can learn Swift. That's actually legit. Let's actually give Eklol Swift as well. I mean, it gets kind of decent. Yeah, who needs Growl if you have Charm? So Eklol is getting somewhat stronger now. Its moveset isn't garbage. Yeah, I don't have anything, which sucks, like... Swift is at least STAB, but... I don't have anything physical right now. I can give it Headbutt. I wanted to give it Headbutt, but Headbutt I can only get after the rival fight. So... That's fine. I can also give Headbutt to, uh, to Dumbass, but I think he learns it later. Oh, it's physical, this gen. Alright, well that's nice. I didn't even know that. I thought it was definitely a ranged move. Oh god. I love the old gens where fucking Screech really hurt your ears. Uh, that's how it should be. Could I, like, encounter only Onyx, please? Because Onyx gives the, gives the most XP. Actually, it would be great to fight the rival this episode still, but that probably... I'm probably running short on time for that. The rival's team is super interesting, I have to say. I once tried to mimic it when I was... when I was still a child. And it was super hard to do, and obviously you don't get a Gengar, and that sucks. Um, but his team is super interesting, like, getting getting Gengar and Crobat. Wait, Dragon is special? You mean in this gen? Well, Fairy doesn't exist in this gen. And there, I mean, later there are dragon, uh, dragon attacks that are melee and that are physical. Um, <laughs> that are that are melee and that are uh, that are physical and that are special. That's what I meant. Um, I misspoke there. Like you have, I don't know. You have like. Uh, Bre Dragon's Breath, or, um, yeah, you have, like, Dragon's Breath, which is, like, a range move, or a special move, and then in, and then you have, like, I don't know, uh, Dragon Tail, or, I can't think of anything. Or even Outrage is basically a melee move, I believe. Um, Dragon Claw is physical, yeah, true. That's the pretty much most common one I couldn't remember. You're definitely right. Thanks for that. 
But I love Outrage. Outrage is like the best dragon move ever. Holy crap. You get Rayquaza in Gen 3, like, you, you play Emerald, you get Rayquaza before the League, and then you just Outrage against the entire League. Just fuck them. You just one-shot everything with Outrage. <laughs> Super broken. And against the Dragon Guy you don't even need to do that, because you can just, uh... You can just... Um, use Dragon Claw as well. Easy peasy. Its moveset is also super broken when you catch it. It has like Fly, uh, Dragon Claw, Outrage, and Extreme Speed, which is incredibly good. Well, Dumbass can kill these Sandshrews pretty easily now on its own. Please give me Onyx. Please, dude. The episode is almost over, which kind of sucks, because I won't be ready to fight the rival. Just tackle one-shots. Oh, it's even crit. And it's pretty quick XP, which is good. In Pokemon Reborn, I had, like... Um... Really, some really strong dragon types at the end. I had like a, um, oh god, how is it called? A Garchomp, um, but Garchomp doesn't learn Earthquake, which is really bad. If only that had Earthquake. And the, 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 the balance team is like, wait, that's a shiny? Oh my god, a shiny Geodude, guys. A shiny Geodude, it looks like a regular one. Where's the shiny part? Shiny Geo, dude. Oh boy. Actually, Gen 2 was the first gen where I met a shiny, and it was a drowsy in the. Uh, it's a shiny, yeah. It is. I can't catch it though. I mean, the Nuzlocke rules uh, say I cannot catch anything here. Even if it's shiny. I wouldn't even want it. I'm not like really the, sh the shiny dude. And also, like, it looked... It, d it didn't look much different from a regular uh, Geodude. Probably looks cool after it evolves into Golem. I know when I first met a shiny Drowsy, I thought, like, the game was bugged or something. I remember that. I was still little, and I didn't know anything about shinies, and then... I told someone at school, like, wow, I, I just had a... Buck, yesterday I met a drowsy that was like purple and what the fuck? And, and he was like, dude, have you ever heard of shiny Pokemon? I, what? What are you talking about? Are you trolling? No, some Pokemon have the chance to like have a different color and be shiny, but the chance is like super, super small. I was like, dude, you're definitely trolling right now. That doesn't exist. Stop trolling me. And he's like, what the fuck, man? <laughs> Yeah, the, you can use the shiny claws where you just are allowed to catch shinies at all points, but I don't like that. Also, I d don't want a shiny Geodude. I don't care. I don't really care. Honestly, even if I used that rule, um, I wouldn't catch it because I don't, I don't want a fucking Geodude. Geodude is just not good enough. Like... It's very one-dimensional, its moveset is really not too great, and it cannot even evolve into Golem. Uh, because I can't trade, and I won't cheat for that, so... Yeah. That's how it is. So I'm getting level 15 now, should I try to... Should I try to fight, um... The rival now? The problem is, if I, like, fuck it up, I'm, I'm just dead. I'm just gonna be dead. Oh my god, it's still not level up. Should I fight the rival as the last thing I'm doing in this episode? And if it fails... Um, if it fails, I'm gonna be fucked. Let me actually... Let me do an experiment, guys. Look here. Look closely. Look closely how I'm beating this level 5 Zubat with Rab.
actually against the level 5 Zubat it does damage. Alright. Well, it can't really do it that much against me, right? I mean, yeah, it can confuse me, but that's pretty much it. And I have to wrap it down. Oh, that's gonna be super annoying, though. I'm gonna try. Wait, does growth help? Does growth even help? Does it... Im it doesn't increase wrap, right? It, it, uh, it doesn't increase the power of wrap. So, what does it even do? Growth doesn't do anything in uh, in this situation. Also, defensively, it doesn't do anything. As leech life and bite are also. Does it? No, it increases special. It in doesn't increase attack. It only increases special, special attack and special defense. Um. Do I have enough healing items? Also, I probably need... I'm starting with Sprouty, right? He has a... Oh, yes, the Miracle Seed. I don't need the Miracle Seed in that battle. I'm gonna give him... Bitterberry. And Eklol is gonna get... A regular berry. Where's my regular berry? There it is. And Dumbass is gonna get... What is he gonna get? I don't even know what I'm gonna give him. Maybe a Paralysis Cure Berry. I don't have another regular berry, unfortunately. So, let's give him... Let's give him this. Alright guys, we'll try. We'll fucking try. And then we end the episode. If we manage to get through him, um, gosh, this is gonna be so painful. Oh my god! I'm lying. Yeah, I beat Team Rocket, but even if I lose to you now, that doesn't say anything because I lost all of my Pokémon I had before. Oh, what? He starts with the Ghastly. Oh shit, I thought he would start with the Zubat. Oh fuck, I totally fucked that up. Alright, Egglol. Um, yeah, it's your turn. You have to do this. Come on, Egglol. Don't use Curse, please. Alright, uh, yeah, Mud Slap. Oh shit. What is Spite? I don't even know what Spite is. Is it the ability that decreases your um, your PP? That might be the case. So Ghastly cannot damage me. It has. It might have Curse, but this fight is going to take ages, though. Spite is the ability that decreases my PP, right? Can it miss? I mean, its accuracy falls, so... It might just miss every time. 10 PP is enough. It's, it's definitely enough, but... Yeah, I don't know. If he uses Spite, then obviously that's a problem. It didn't affect me, so he can definitely miss with it. So now I'm to a point where I should be able to just kill him with a uh, water gun, so... Um, that doesn't really matter. Also, his accuracy is like completely down the drain. Yeah, easy peasy, guys. My strategy is kind of working out. It kind of is. Alright, Eklol, you did a good, good job. All right, now comes the now comes the problem. Um, all right, I'm gonna stay in with Eklol, and what I'm gonna do? Oh, it's level 14! Holy shit! I'm gonna use Charm. 
I'm gonna use Charm to weaken this fucker. And now he, like, if I use, like, Charm three times, then he shouldn't even be able to deal any damage to me. Look at it. Look at him not dealing shit. Now oh, that is a problem, but... Whatever. Whatever, guys. Bite is special? How? What? How does that make any sense? How can Bite be fucking special? Oh my god, really? Holy shit. Oh my god, god like, I, I'm, uh, I'm at a loss of words now. Oh, dark type moves are special, yeah. I always forget how this is like a uh, move type, uh, a move type thing. But whatever, I mean, it doesn't really matter because, um, because bug types shouldn't be, right? Like, leech life can't be a special move. If leech life is a special move, then I'm super fucked. But if it's not, then I'm fine. All the evolution types are special and dragon. Oh, don't don't do this. I I have a I have a yeah I have the berry for that. I have some super potions. So growth. Actually, that doesn't make sense. It only increases my special attack and not my special defense. I'm stupid as fuck. Oh my god. But what about? Uh, what about, um... Uh, what? What about Vine Whip? Is Vine Whip a special move? Yeah, and I flinch. Oh my god, that's gonna be so bad. I'm gonna get destroyed here. This Zubat, I knew it would be the problem. But it's even bigger of a problem than I expected. Vine Whip is special, alright. Vine Whip does shit against this. Um, but I used Growth, so it could still be okay. -ish. I could also use... Why am I not using the X attack, by the way? That would be reasonable, right? Why not use the X attack? Please, don't hurt yourself, oh my fucking god. I'm just gonna die to this fucking confusion bullshit. Come on, let's X attack here. He's just not gonna stop using this attack. This is so awful. I'm gonna run out of healing. I should have bought more super potions before the fight, I'm so dumb. I'm gonna lose to the fucking Zubat, it's ridiculous. Don't make me flinch. He's still confused. God, this is so unlucky. This is so fucking unlucky. I cannot believe this. I cannot fucking possibly... Oh my god. I'm gonna lose to the fucking Zubat because of RNG. It's so disgusting bullshit. I'm so tilted right now. I shouldn't have taken this fight. Gosh, why did I do this? Oh my god. Yeah, flinch every fucking time. Oh my god, I cannot believe this bullshit is happening. Come on, I need one more rap, probably. One fucking rap. No, don't fucking hit, dude. It's so ridiculous. Why are you not missing? I'm hurting myself every fucking time. Every time. It's so fucking... Oh my god. Such a joke. Such a fucking joke. It's incredible. It's so incredible how bullshit this is. And it's always released. It's always fucking released from rap. How am I supposed to deal with this? Alright, Ekloth. 
Yeah, but I, but the run is just over. That's the problem. Like, I, I have to start the entire run from the start again. Which is so stupid. It's... It ruins all the fun. I have nothing left. I have literally nothing left. I could like switch to dumbass who just takes insane damage from bite. But I have to do it. I mean there is no other way. And I have to hope that I can take two hits, which I can, all right. Uh Please don't flinch, please for once. Fucking this is so ridiculous. I cannot believe how unlucky I am. Dude, Oh my god, this is off the charts! It's off the fucking charts! Holy shit! And now I can't- Oh my god, I cannot do anything! I cannot even switch an Eklol for a charm! I'm so fucked! It's insane! If only I bought like five more healing items! Oh my god! This is so frustrating, it's so- Fucking frustrating. What I'm gonna do now is use the X defend because he only has he only has a Yeah, I don't care about reflect. He only has tackle, right? Can we still win this guys? Holy shit, can we still do this? Come on. Believe in me guys. We can do it. Razor leaf. That's not gonna do much. We can win. We can win. Ray, we can do it. You're gonna you're gonna experience me. Oh yeah, he has synthesis. That's why he doesn't use tackle, right? That is the reason. But synthesis has only 5 PP, right? At least, I oh my god, this is gonna be so painful, holy shit, oh my god, I'm doing no damage. I'm doing literally no fucking damage. Maybe it would be better to use growth and vine whip all the time. Maybe that is actually the, the strat. Oh shit, critical, oh my god. I mean the poison powder is so good, but... If he doesn't use anything now, then he's dead. Yes, we should win, right? We definitely win. The poison does enough. Thank God, guys, we did it. We didn't lose a Pokemon in this fight. Barely. It was so close. Ah, uh, do we want Stun Spore? I don't think so. We did it without a loss, oh my god. So we can actually continue. We can continue in the next episode after the break. Holy shit, that was so intense. I, I went through so many emotions in this fight, it's incredible. From, from, it's incredible. From like hating myself, from like hating the bad luck, from like loving everything that happened. All right guys. Um. This is it for the episode now. Um, I'm already... Uh... No, I can't. I already got an encounter that route. Like, in the forest, that is. I already went there before the rival was enabled, so I can't catch anything there, but in the route after the forest. Um, I'm gonna save here. This is gonna be it for the episode. I'm gonna do my break now, but I'm gonna be back in roughly 10 minutes. And then I'm gonna continue, so please don't go anywhere. And, and for those of you who are watching on YouTube, um, thanks for watching. And um, this was episode 2 of my Let's Play Pokemon Crystal in the Nuzlocke. We lost a lot of Pokemon today. We lost Zubat, we lost our starter, Croconaw, and we lost Hoot Hoot to the, rival f uh, to the gym fight, um, which sucks, but... I hope we can recover in the next episode. Uh, thanks for watching and uh, have a nice one. See you in the next episode.